Hi everyone, it's Anne Sinclair from Digestive Detective. Today I want to talk to you about changing habits and how hard changing habits is. We all know, like it's taken me um, 20 minutes to be able to sit and do this live video. Um, I have to psych myself up to get into the right headspace to do it. So I've just read this most fantastic book. Well, it was an audio book actually, and I'd suggest that you try doing the audio book because it's a much uh, more um, grounded and surrounded sort of you get a really nice feel for her content so it's a book by Mel Robbins and it's called the five second rule and it's not the five second rule where you pick the food up off the floor after five seconds but hey that could be included so she talks about um, habits and how bad our habits become and we are creatures of habit I know um, for myself that I often go through challenges with myself to walk a different way to the car or um, go a different way when I have a walk or change up how I do stuff in the morning because we are creatures of habit and we really like to have routines so you all know how hard it is to change a habit because we have um, you know like I see people day in day out and it's like drink more water yes 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 eat more vegetables but they go away and including me um, and you go away and you think oh god that's just too hard or yep I know that so what Mel Robbins talks about in her book is you have five seconds between having the thought and taking the action. So if you have the thought, you need to count backwards from five, four, three, two, one, and then take the action because that changes the way your brain perceives it. Um, and it's great because I've used this over and over since I've actually finished the book and it makes you more able to do stuff without, um, you know, getting worked up in your mind taking over and going, oh no, I don't think I'll do that. I'll set that aside and do it later. So this is a way to get you to take action straight away and get onto it. And consequently, I didn't do that this morning when I was getting ready for this video. I was fluffing around. So had I've done that, probably would have changed my habit. But I think, and it's, it's interesting that you see people that get cancer and they then can change their habits because they know that their life depends on it. You know, if it's not so critical to us, we tend not to be able to change our habits so quickly. Um, so with the five, four, three, two, one rule, um, her, read the book, it's fantastic, so I won't take anything away from that. But it disrupts, so when we have a thought, you have the thought and in five seconds, your brain will take over and change your um, the way you perceive it. It will take it out of your control. The prefrontal cortex in your brain starts the thinking and once we get into thinking, we get out of action. Um, so this is a way for us to be able to get straight into action. I urge you to try it. Um, her thing was she couldn't get out of bed, she would hit the snooze button. So instead of hitting the snooze button, um, she would um, keep a phone out of the way and she would just as soon as she woke up she would go or as soon as the alarm went off she would go five four three two one and get out of bed um, try it and you'll be absolutely amazed how fantastic it is to get you up and get you out and get you going and I've noticed it's really good for changing other habits um, for example drinking water I've been able to keep up with that um, work stuff and you know if anybody saw my post on Instagram or Facebook this week about the garden now that garden sat there for six months and I've procrastinated um, and done all sorts of things it's going to be too hard it's going to be too this it's going to be too that um, and literally I went five four three two one walked out there I would just been for a 15k walk I come back and I just pull started pulling the stuff out um, even my husband was shocked so um, it's interesting to see that little things can can change how you um, you know create new habits and, and it is about creating habits it's about getting change and and starting to put new things in place that are that are much more beneficial to your health going forward and to your life going forward you know nobody wants to be stuck in habits that don't serve them so if that's my tip for you today um, grab Mel Robbins's audio book on um, audible.com um, or, or go and buy the book um, and and try it out and see how you how what you think of it and see if it works for you but I absolutely loved it so have a great day and I hope to see you soon